Hello everybody, it's the Strange Gamer back to kick off round two of Group B matches. And well, I've already updated the table as you can see because we have three more matches for you to tuck into. At first we'll see Slifer Sky Dragon X going up against Team Europe. Then we will see a clash at the top between Shadow Force and Dino Nerd. And then an important game as Laos takes on Kit Green. Right, let's get on with our first match. Our first map in the red corner for Slifer Sky Dragon, we have Ableosaurus. And um, well, we saw it do very well in the first map, in its first match. I think it did. Yeah, I think it gave Slifer Sky Dragon an early lead. But can it pull its weight against Team Europe? In the blue corner for Team Europe, we have Polar Canvas. And well, we all know what this thing did to Dino Nerd in the first match. It completely pulverised his first two dinos. Until Terry came in and finished them all off. And well, we all saw what Mole Attack can do. And yeah, quite very balanced attacks for Polar Campus. Now, his critical move doesn't do significantly more damage than his other two moves. Alrighty then, that's a two, so paper. Ooh, a good start from Ableosaurus. Getting the first hit in on Polar Canvas. Ooh, but the Polar Canvas strikes back with that classic mole attack. <laughs> so the Polar Canvas does have the slight lead, but the Magma Blaster has been triggered. Ablesaurus went for it, but the Polar Canvas had none of it. Ooh, but Ablesaurus does get it off this time, and Tappy Jaradite might might be curtained for Polar Canvas. Oh, oh, the um, Magma Blaster was enough. <laughs> right, gotta get my wits about me here because up next for Team Europe we have Super Lillian Sturmus. Uh, okay. Awaker mode on two. And yes, I've already mentioned it before, but this moveset is actually based off someone else's moveset from one of my previous tournaments. Because I liked it so much, I decided to use it for one of my bots. But it's going to be tough for Lillian Sturness to pull this back, because it will be at a disadvantage against this thing. Ooh, and that's not good if Ablesaurus keeps getting hit. Uh, what's this? Ah, Venom Fang. Actually, the only di the only competitor that's actually using Venom Fang in this tournament, which I'm quite surprised about. Wow, the Piantnitsky sort of looks bigger. <laughs> Slifer Sky Dragon X on top of it so far. I mean, both of these two lost their opening matches, so a win here could be crucial for either of them. But it looks like that Ablesaurus is going to get the win. Well, I should say Cypher Sky Dragon. <sighs> but it is awakening. It's a wake wake time for Lillian Sterner, and this could be just what Team Europe needs. Oh, oh, as a sonic blast, and this should finish off Ablesaurus. Wow, Lillian Sternus has such beautiful blue eyes. Blowing Ablesaurus away and smashing it into a boulder. And yet, I am correct in saying that it does finish it off. Okay, up next for Slifer Sky Dragon, we have a Patasaurus. The secret version. Um, not much to say here, just got all secret moves and... Didn't, didn't see too much of it, to be honest. It died pretty quick. But I think we're going to see a bit of it because Team Europe still has a bit of catching up to do despite defeating the Ablesaurus. Ooh, the Lillian Stern is so getting off ahead. Could that be crucial? Oh, Team Europe pulling their back? A Patasaurus not looking good so far. Okay, yeah, that's Lillian's doing this dead. 
the Apatosaurus finishing it off and reducing Team Europe to their last dinosaur. That dinosaur being the Satiosaurus. Um, we, well, we saw a bit of this guy before it died to Terry. And yes, a, basically a move nullifying set, and you got the power of Hydro Color there. <laughs> because why not? Ooh, the Apatosaurus though, getting another hit off. Will the secret moves be triggered? Indeed they will be, and that will tighten the screw even more for Team Europe. Well, for Team Slifer Sky Dragon X. Oh, this might actually be curtains. A mega... Is this Mega Watch Stop? I, I always get... No, Mega Watch Stop is wrong. I think this is... Um, Arc Discharge. Yeah, that's the one. Arc Discharge. And indeed it does. Finish off the Satyosaurus and guarantee a bonus point win for Slifer Sky Dragon. Hmm. A much needed bonus point there for Slifer Sky Dragon after opening day defeat. I'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Quite a match we could be in store for here, as up first for Shadow Force we have Alpha Rajasaurus. This thing laid the beat down into Laos in the first matchup, but can it sink its teeth into Dino Nerd? As for Dino Nerd in the blue corner, we have a Giganonosaurus. Um, Dino Nerd is a little bit of a... I, no, I, I expected Dino Nerd to win the last match, but an impressive comeback it was. But I think it's going to be tough for him because Shadow Force does have a water dinosaur in his team. So when, it really come, when you come down to it, I think Shadow Force does have the edge in this match. And well, a start like that is going to just cement that, isn't it? But not too much damage done, but the poison is sunk into the Giga. Ooh, that's a tie! More poison. But the Giga strikes back with a crit, and it's a diving press. Boosh! Oh, look at all that damage. Decent amount of damage done there, but the Magma Blaster is triggered. But it's a tie. Giga's not having it. And the Giga's getting off another hit, and that will be curtains for Alpha Rajasaurus. Could be crucial for Dino Nerd that. Getting rid of the pesky Rajasaur early on. Although the Giga has taken a beating. Anyway, up next for Shadow Force. The dinosaur that could swing the match his way, the Baryonyx. The reason why I say it will swing the match his way is because all of Dino Nerd's dinos are fire dinosaurs, which means the Baryonyx will have the advantage over all of them. But in the last matchup, where Terry went up against Satyosaurus, Satyosaurus had the advantage, but Terry got off an ultimate fire to kill it. All this damage on the Barry could be crucial for Dino Nerd. But the Giga, despite putting up a decent effort, is going down. So quite an even match so far. Up next for Dino Nerd, we have Ableosaurus. <coughs> Don't expect Blazing Spin to do much. Oh, they're going to cough. But Critical Block could come in handy. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, but the Barry gets off a hit. It's a Water Sword. This is going to do damage. Because Baryonyx's moves are all balanced, so... His crit doesn't do too much more damage than his other moves. I think, yeah, Baryon is very balanced. Which is not good for Dino Nerd. And that is definitely not good. And that is curtains for Ape Albertosaurus. 
and Dino Nerd is down to his last Dino. That Dino being Terry Dino Tactic. Well, we saw what this beast did in the first match, but he's definitely gonna have to pull his weight here if he wants if Dino Nerd wants a chance at winning this match. Or will the Baryonics continue to pound and pummel? Well, I, I said this would win. This guy will win the match for Shadow 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 Force. And yep, it looks like Baryonyx is actually going to win it for Shadow Force. A Futaba Cannon is going to do a serious amount of damage to Terry. Oh, 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 well, <laughs> wow, that was really bad. Yeah, so I don't know what's causing it, I mean... I am going to have my computer service this week, hopefully, so maybe that will fix things. Yeah, I think a valiant effort from Dino Nerd, but I think Ter I think Terrier is going to go down. Yeah, that's curtains for Terry. And Shadow Nerd will claim yet another bonus point win. Ooh. And dare I say it, that might be enough for him to get qualify from the group stage. Eight points I think should be enough. I mean, three matches to go. There's not a guarantee that someone could win, win three times. Three times, so... Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, that'll be enough for Shadow Nerd. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but... I think, yeah, Shadow Nerd might have just secured his place in the last 32. Right, we'll update the table and we'll move on to our final match of this video. Alrighty then, then. Yep. In the red corner for Laos, we have the Alpha Kendrosaurus, and this guy could be crucial for Laos' chances of winning this match because it will have the type advantage over all of Kit Green's dinosaurs. But. In the blue corner for Kit Green, we have Alpha Chasmosaurus. Pumps up. Kit Green will have the advantage over Life's last dinosaur, so could that be crucial as well? I feel like that's more cru crucial than this matchup. But we'll just have to see. This could be an important game for Life. He doesn't want to be cut adrift to the top four. A defeat here could see that reality happen. Ooh, good start though, getting off the first head. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's a lightning strike from the Chasmosaurus. But, thanks to our type advantage, Kendrosaurus will not take too much damage. Well, the Chasmosaurus is fearing well. And it does have the lead over the Kentrosaurus. Could that be about to change? A light recovery? And could Earth Barrier activate? Nope, it does not activate. Ooh, I think Louse needed that Earth Barrier there. But the Chasmosaurus has definitely done a good job in wearing down the Kentrosaurus. And the Chasmosaurus though does go down and reduce Kit Green to his second dinosaur. That dinosaur being the Super Taurosaurus. Watch out for that crit because that crit does a serious amount of damage. Although his other two moves are something to be desired. And the Tokendrosaurus is low on health, so I feel like Kit Green, despite being down to his second level, still has a decent chance. Ooh, but that's not good. That's a spike arrow from the Kentra. Whoa, look at that damage and the poison. Ooh, the only thing that would have topped it off there was an Earth Barrier. Okay, that's once. 
Ooh, but the, the Taurus Sword does go up ahead, but because of how weak his other two moves are, it will not do much damage. Okay, that's twice. So it'll be a wait, wait time for Taurus Sword. I mean, he's kind of wasted, unless it's a tie. Which it isn't, and Taurosaurus is going to finish off the Alpha Kentrosaurus. I mean, the Awaken mode was kind of a waste. I mean, the best case scenario for Kick Green, it would have been a tie, because then, the Awaken mode would carry over to Light Second Dinosaur. That being the Eoraptor, what will it be this time? Ooh, that's not good for Laos, that's an Amargosaurus. Um... I'm not entirely sure if the type advantage for light for Kick Green will carry over because I'm a, the Eoraptor turned into a water dinosaur. Okay, I think that's oh yeah, that's Ocean Panic, so that could help Lance. Because of Eoraptor's very high technique. But it only counts if that if you can get a tie. Oh, that's a tie. And Taurosaurus is going down. So Laos does still have the lead, but Kick Green is down to his last dinosaur. That dinosaur being the Super Triceratops. And again, all the same moves as the other two dinosaurs because there's no originality. But it's all power in the fist. <laughs> I, 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 that, that didn't make sense. And Triceratops has much more balanced attacks than Taurosaurus. So this Eo this Amargosaurus has to watch out this... A tie. Come on, this guy's got 3,000 technique. Why isn't Ocean Panic working? Ooh, Ocean Panic is not working, but Defense Boost is, and that could be crucial, along with a tie bomb. Wow, that was a pitiful amount of damage. That's terrible. That is Ocean Panic, but I might be Neptune's food. Okay, that's once. Ooh, the Amargosaurus getting off another hit. Another defense boost on another tie bomb. Twice? This will be twice. Oh my god, you get another hit off! I can't Triceratops go for something other than Lightning Strike. Well, it will be awakening time for Triceratops. But Kick Green is in a bit of trouble here. Okay, it's a tie. Oh, there's the Ocean Planet. I said it would activate, and it will. And I think this is curtains for Kit Green and a much-deserved bonus point win for Lance. Yeah, because I think the bombs will go off. Yeah, the bombs go off, and that's Night Night Triceratops. And a very, very impressive display by Laos, reminding us all why he has won these tournaments before. Very impressive from Laos. Very, really impressive. I mean, I'm only, I'm surprised Ocean Panic only activated once, but there we go. I'll update the table and we'll end the session. And all of a sudden, don't one can't, what one game seems to change everything. You have Shadow Force up top with eight points, two bonus points, and almost at one, well, a 100% winning start. Then we have Laos, with that impressive victory over Kit Green in second and a bonus point win to boot. And then we have Slifer Sky Dragon, who also enjoyed a bonus point win over Team Europe in third. And then we have Dino Nerd and Kit Green in fourth and fifth. I mean, this is quite, well, I'm just leaving these as they are. I mean, they haven't faced each other yet, so I can't really put one above the other. But for now, they're just tied in fourth. And then we have Team Europe at the bottom with that single point. Uh, yeah, Group B still looking very open. I mean, Shadow Force's next game. Well, Shadow Force will be playing Team Europe next. So, big opportunity for Shadow Force to seriously pull away. And I think one more win for Shadow Force should do it. I mean, I know I said earlier that eight points should be enough to get him out of the group. But I think another win should pretty much make it certain. And given that he's going up against Team Europe... I think it wouldn't surprise me if that win came in this next match. Uh, then we have 
Slifer Sky Dragon going up against Laos. Ooh, that could be an interesting game. Both of them enjoying bonus point wins. And then we have, I'd say, a very important game here with Dino Nerd going up against Kit Green. Of course, they can't be. These two can't win, I suppose. So yeah, some important matches coming up in in the halfway point for Group B. Um, who? Well, I think Sh I think Shadow Force will look at eight points. I think Shadow Force will get out. I think Laos will get out. Then I think for the last two spots, I think it's between these three. I mean, I don't see Team Europe getting out, but it's still early days yet. So I hope you enjoyed this session. And stay tuned for next time, where we'll start Group C. And until then, this is Strange Gamer, signing out.